Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dak Dak and today we're playing some more Going Medieval. So, <clears throat> excuse me, should have cleared the throat before I started recording, but anyway. Last episode, we had a raid come in right at the end, and they didn't do so well. We actually ended up using the back of, I don't really want to call it a castle. We used the back of the base to come and get all this stuff last time. Um, it did work out quite nicely. I was contemplating building another staircase up here, but either way, they've got, well, I guess it'd be quicker if they ran this way, rather than going around here. Shifo. In all fairness, I didn't need to destroy any of this. You know if I made little gatehouses everywhere, rather than these little things... We could have our archers stood on top and our melee stood inside for all of them. Like, I'm not being funny. We could expand this across here, like this, and have the way out there. We could actually expand this across here and have the way up there. Then the gatehouse down this way. I mean, this we could actually build into its own little gatehouse. And if I was doing one over this way... We could maybe dig out this corner somehow and have a little gatehouse there. Just so we can get in and out of these places quicker. And I'm not even going to bother with putting loads more traps down, honestly. Well, I mean, this is good if we end up getting a raid that we're not going to be able to deal with. But I can't be bothered with keep knocking these out and building these back in. Um, Shifo. Is anybody on number one crafting? If I've got nobody constructing first. Sky, you come on number one constructing. Sky is going to be my man for constructing. I need to get this built up so we can get in and out quicker. Where were you when I've talked? Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. You're miles away. Xerox mining level, not far off max. I still think Cossack's going to beat him to the punch. Oh, have we built the torches up down here yet? Is the fermenting working? Fermenting because of temperature, yes. 6.7 degrees. And is that the same for all of these? Uh, can I turn these coloured grids off, please? Because it's making it dead difficult to see these barrels. Admittedly, this is all fruit juice, but... That is a, a good enough temperature in here. I don't know whether to get like a couple more. Let me build one more. I want to build it on this wall, but this wall hasn't been built up yet. Well, it's working for now, so let's not worry about it too much. And it's 5.6 degrees in here, but we've not got any cheese or anything yet anyway. Because generally we don't get enough um, milk. Do we even store milk anywhere at this point? Oh yeah, actually, any milk that we get should be bought straight down here, right? Curdling milk. Don't we need to bring actual milk down here? Wait, I need some shelving for milk, don't I? That's where this... Uh, what can go here, then? We've got everything else being stored down here. We've just not got anywhere for milk. Copy settings, paste settings, because we don't want this spoiling, do we? We want to keep the milk fresh. I bet that's... Can everybody stop walking over this tile. I bet that's why we've not been getting any curdling milk at all, because all of my milk is spoiling before anything happens. Like, legitimately rotting. Alright, now that we've got Sky on full-time building, at least full-time building first, he should come and get all of these things built back in. And these two over this way. I don't want to be chopping any more of these out. Oh my god, please be a bull, please be a bull, please be a bull. It's a young female. And it's a wild young female. Hmm. I mean, I could go and get another female. You could try and tame it, but... It's not any, um... 
How are we doing on taming these wolves as well, honestly? Boars is the free female cattle. We're fine for now. Unnamed. Tamed 50%. Tamed 4%. It's fine. We've got this. Where am I? Oh god, the base looks horrible from this angle. We've built it all from one specific angle. But yeah, if I'm going to do the um, the gatehouse for all the different ways in and out, I would have to have a little bit of serpentine around here and there, just so... Um... Well, no, I wouldn't, really. Because if they manage... Yours. If they manage to get into the area... Oh, if they manage to break the door down, that's where the melee come in. So I really don't need all of this. We need to give our melee something to do. Right, this is the, the big question. Fermenting because of room temperature. I don't want wine fermenting. So I may actually want a separate room. Actually, no. Is this what you meant by a wine and a cheese room? Um, Raven's getting eaten. Oh, you are so far from base as well, aren't you? This is the one that's tamed 3%, but either way, it doesn't really matter. This will be the quickest way to go. Just keep running. Just keep running. Run, Raven, run, Raven, run, run, run. I don't want to fight the wolves that I'm trying to tame. Why does Raven seem as quick as a wolf? She's a raven, not a wolf. She's literally running at the same speed as it. It's not gaining any ground. Are you nimble or something? Lightweight. That's a bad drink. Iron stomach and listless. Oh, the wolf is very, very slowly catching up with her. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread woman. Obviously, she's not a gingerbread man. That'd be that'd be weird. She's night raving. She's female. Anyway, let's not get into that because that can start off um, some mass arguments, can't it? Each their own. That's all I ever say. Oh, you thought you... Oh, that's a different wolf. I was going to say I thought it was being clever and trying to run around the other way. Never mind. It was just trying to get home. Yeah, we want to stop the wine from fermenting, but I've got nowhere to store the wine at the minute. Maybe... I need all of the curdling things in here, and then we don't want the curdling things in here, or the raw. We want the stimulants in here, all of them, which would mean I don't even need this door. And in fact, I don't need this, and I don't need this. So wine and cheese room can stay down here and be uh, warmed up. Actually, can we relocate this? Um, we can, but just not yet. Right, that's fine. Oh, a very own wine cellar. Now, I could go a step further and make it so that this pathway is all the way through this. Do I really want to do that? Because it's going to give... No, screw it. We're not doing that. Um, let's build that one right there. Looks like Sky is about caught up with most of the um, the work here. Hello, autosave. How are you doing? Get that dug out, get that dug out. Uh, built up, even. Sorry, excuse me. What? Let's get this all sorted out as well. I don't want to do that tile. We don't want any collapses up above. Just go like that, and go like that. Right, round this way, we can actually start... Have I got the game paused? What am I doing? We can actually start taking out all the rest of these. Can't do that side. Can do that one there. Can do that one there. Yeah. <clears throat> We're not far off being there. Alright, I've got your next project lined up, so Rogue, don't get um, too happy about it. Um, That one does need to be dug out, yes. And then this is where... We need to dig this next tile out. 
I'm just going to set it up like that, and then I've only got to dig this one out to connect it. This is going to be the ice room. At least this is going to be one of the ice rooms. Maybe I'll have two. Right, you shouldn't be fermenting anymore. That's good. You've, you've reserved it, have you? You've reserved an entire stack of rough wine. Dude, I don't think that's allowed. <laughs> I think other people may have something to say about there. Uh, to say about there, to say about that. Have we still not hauled all this in yet? Oh, we're on the last few pieces right now. That's why it's important that we get this set up like ASAP. Just so we can get in and out. Well, wherever they've attacked. You are on 44% trained. You are on zero. Um, I thought you'd have been better at this whole taming thing by this point, girls. It is Gemar and it is Night Raven, so. Production speed outside in rain. I do kind of need the medical room set up as well. Oh, he's nearly at 50. So nearly at 50. Oh, we are actually starting to store um, raw stuff up now. Oh, we've got a harvest of cabbages in. Love it. That'll be able to keep us going for a little bit. When the beets and the carrots start coming in as well, we'll be, we'll be well away. It's a shame they've not made it so that you can do anything with the bones yet. Unnamed chicken has died. No! That was my favourite unnamed chicken. Oh. Probably died of old age, to be fair. I mean, we could start trying to do something with eggs, but I've not really put that much thought into it, honestly. Did we ever get this wall built up over this way? Yeah, we did. In uh, that a case, I can rotate this like that, which realistically this just needs to come out one, but they're going to be dead happy they've got all this extra flipping limestone floor to walk on. Yeah, you thought you were escaping then, didn't you? Ah, no. No, you're not. Anyway. What are we doing? Everybody seems to be mining at this point or deconstructing stuff. What are we at? Like 19 degrees outside at this point? If we finish like our summer crafting stuff, very nearly. What are you doing? You're crafting. Right. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to pause this, and then I'm going to pause this, and then I'm going to get everybody to go upstairs and start swapping all their gear. Because we're on day 10 of spring now, so we're not far off summer anyway. Carried in for textiles. We've still got plenty. I mean, they're allowed to use wool, and they're allowed to use uh, linen, so... Yeah, that works out somewhat okay, a lone traveller. We'll have a look. I want to buy barley. I'd like to buy a, a bull, if... Um, if you at all have one of those. Um, but other than that, I don't really need that much. Which if I get this crafted. Last time we only had one tailor, didn't we? And that's why everything was taking forever. We are pretty full in here. Let's be, uh, let's be honest. We should be smelting all of this stuff, right? Anything that is good or worse. So all of these will be getting smelted, yes. And what have we got there? A bill hook. Yeah, bill hooks and stuff will be getting smelted. That's fine. Um anybody anybody seen the trader coming? See the cattle can sleep all the way around the base now. Love it. Yes, I am just generalizing and calling all of them cattle. Or even failed, I don't believe it. Never. See, this is all just tall grass. I'm not really in the market for tall grass. I want barley. Right, who is our best speech craft? Stevens 13, 6, you're 14. I think it's Sir Oak, isn't it? It's Sir Oak, and he's the only one with passion for talking. We'll get Sir Oak to come and have a chat. 
inconspicuous brewer. Nah, don't you go leaving. Wait for Sir Oak to wake up first. I don't want to wake him up. Get down here. Yeah, Mum. Carter. Right, try, 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 try. Um, you've got barley. You've got like no actual barley. I might as well buy the seeds, hadn't I? Um, cabbage seeds will be fine for. Carrot seeds, I'll just buy them, even though we are about to get a ridiculous amount of seeds. Uh, 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 flax seeds, I think we'll be fine for, thank you. Herb seeds, we've not got loads of herb seeds. Beetle leather, linen cloth, mechanical components. I mean, this is all stuff I can sell to you. Stuffed eggs. Stuff your eggs. I'm, I'm okay, thank you. I mean, we could just sell him, like, clothing. We've got flawless summer clothes at this point. We have a flawless summer clothes. Um, right, I think I'm just going to trade you flax seeds. Just because I've got, like, 500 odd of them. Um, how's about if we go to, like, 50? 75? 90? There we go. Accept. Accept. And the only things that use barley is this mash, right? That doesn't even use barley. I didn't realise the mash could be made out of this. Fermenting mash. Fermenting fruit juice and curdling milk. So we've got loads of red currants at the minute, haven't we? Let's set red currants on that as well then. I don't want barley on anything. For now, I just want to get it going. Let's have a look in here. Animal feed, no to barley. Yes, the cabbage, beets, carrots, mushrooms and hay, obviously. No to barley... No to red currants, it's everything else. You know what, this is where I really need to come through and sort it out. Cabbages. I said clear all. Why is human meat still ticked on? Uh, cabbages, beets, carrots. Raw meat. No, stop. Stop trying to do that. Why are we using rotten meat and rotten vegetables now? So, cabbage, beets, carrots, meat. Clear all. Cabbage, beets, carrots, meat. And then obviously, sticks, wood, coal, and medicine. Cabbage, beets, carrots, mushrooms. That's fine. We're not using mushrooms for anything else. That's good. That's good. Uh, that's the butchering table, so that's fine anyway. Let's just have another check here. Red currants and apples. Yes, please. Red currants, cabbage, beets, carrots. Don't use rotten vegetables. I mean, I guess use apples as well. No, don't use apples. We're probably using those for cider. Is cider still in this game? Carrots, beets, cabbage, red currant. And then this one over here, which we've never actually set up. Oh, ash is used here. Until you have 100. I'm aware that some of these are going to use barley, so I'm going to have to pause them immediately. Until you have 100, until you have 100, until you have 100. So that is just an outright pause straight away. I mean, we've not got any honey, but I guess if we've got honey, you can do fermenting mead. Um, and that is an outright pause as well. We've had that set up for so long, and I've just never sorted it out. We may be getting to the point where we need another um, stove in here, but we've only got one person cooking, haven't we? And we've only ever had one person cooking, right? 
Oh, Miss Andy's a tier two cook, but she's only level 10. A tier two? You know what I meant by that, don't you? So actually, there is a use to burning the bodies then, isn't there? The sheep has given birth to Belle and Senna. Okay. Still not doing too well with the wood, are we? They are using an awful lot of wood, though, realistically. I am going to expand these out a little bit. Just bring them as far forward as we can. Up to the path, really. I mean, it's not like we're gonna. Uh, we're not gonna have the space to store it once I finally get round to expanding this. But yeah, just a little bit more growing. Realistically, what I should go th and through and do is turn all of the uh, fireplaces to like twigs only, not coal, not wood. But I really can't be bothered. I did it so many times on the last series, and it was just so pointless. Because then we ended up running out of sticks and I had to go back round and change it all back to wood. And then I turned coal off on all of them. Um, and then we stopped using coal for smithing and stuff. So I went back round and turned it on again. It was just stupid, right? And I'm not doing it again. Not on your Nelly. Um, that one done there. These corners can be done in there as well. Ooh, we're nearly there. So we're basically going to have like one room completed over this side anyway. Once Sky's built it all. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that can't be wood down there. It just cannot. It, it disrupts the Feng Shui. It has to be these tiles. Um, fermenting because of temperature. That is not what we want. Relocate you into there. I'm just going to build a copy. We're going to have another one in here just so we can try and keep it like above 10 and then we'll check if everything's working. If it's all still fermenting at that temperature, happy days, we will um, leave the torches on. But if it's not correct, then we'll just have to turn one or so of the torches off. All right. That room can all be chopped out. Love it. Can't chop out all of this side. We can chop out that one. We can chop out that one because they've all been built up. Uh, can't do anything around this way. And this room is very nearly done. This is the most done of all the rooms. It didn't help that I set all this up as one huge project. If we'd have done it room by room, it would have worked out so much better. But it's fine now. And we're actually storing milk now, which is dead nice. Get that one dug out, get this one built in. We just need to keep going with all of it. Oh, whoops. That's that's what we're meant to be mining at. That one built in there, that one built in there. If I'm making any of you sick by spinning around, I apologise. Danielle's smashing the crap out of whatever that armor was up there. You're leaving. I mean, good. You didn't really do that much for us. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news and all that, but... That one can get chopped out, that one can get chopped out, that one can get chopped out. As can that one, and that one. They can all get gone. These can all get built up. I just want to get this finished down here. We're so close. If I keep circling around, and it's night time, so nothing's going to be getting done now. Yummy. <clears throat> we are pretty full in this area. It's the limestone. We're going to have to have another limestone stockpile. Um, right. Let's just have... Excuse me. Default stockpile. Let's just go like that. And just out of curiosity. Anyway. Um, right, do, do, do this can be high, clear all, auto save, thank you, 
materials, raw materials, we can have clay, dirt, limestone. I mean, silver and gold and stuff should be stored in here anyway. And I don't want to turn these off from in here because we can use this as overflow. Um, but I just want all of the limestone and stuff getting out of here. Same as all these sticks and stuff shouldn't be in there. But that's where upgrading, expanding, whatever this room would come in um, great. Peaches the sheep has given birth to Mustar. Okay. We're going to have to have a sheep culling at some point. We seem to be getting an awful lot of them. And they seem to be getting through the... Um, the fodder rather quickly if we manage to get the barley planted now right yes we have and hopefully i've got that turned off for everything let's come and get some of this down here so we need the barley going to get fodder and yet last time fodder was just unbearable we couldn't get rid of it quick enough and by fodder i obviously mean straw but so this one's set to high, this one's just set to low, because this is just a general stockpile for basically everything else. Um, we needed to pause this one. I need to get everybody up here. Everybody in. Is just Shifo missing? He's not coming. He's not part of this uh, collection. Come on, Shifo. Get up here. Where are you going? Oh, Shifo. Go cool. manage. Um, edit clothing. Let's go. And we don't want winter. We want summer. And hats. Edit headgear, we don't want caps, we want wide hats. Kill. Oh, all the archers have got light armor. B E A U T F L. Right, now you can all go and do your stuff. It just makes it easier for hauling all of the um, stuff, uh, the clothing around. And we can play, we can play. We can play, we can play. Good. Good. We've got all this freaking tallow and stuff in here as well. And we've got more furnaces left on still. Off. It's warm inside now, right? It's like 11 degrees and stuff. They'll be fine. Right. Back down into the pits. Fermenting. What are we at in here? 9.2. Merchant caravan. Ooh. This can be turned on. Let's see. Does it still ferment? You're not changing from 9.3? I mean, that's good for me. They're all fermenting. Juice pile. Fermenting mash. It's looking good. 10.2. The torches do really add a little bit of time, which is good. I think that's why I was probably told um, go torches rather than the fire pits, because the fire pits actually kick out like a substantial amount of heat. Mm -mm -mm. These are all set to be mined. Um, we can get mining this one and this one. We're okay at the minute. Oh yeah, crap, I wasn't meant to build this one here. Whoopsie. We want this to be a through way, so we can keep going in there and digging. Right, Sir Oak, um, I need you to get up here. I need to be careful to not attack any of them. Barter. Excuse me, barter. Chase him, sir. Chase him. Oh, for God's sake. Water. Got the memory span of a gnat. Um, 
Right, so I don't want to buy a basic research table. I don't want to buy any of this crap. I don't want to buy your caps. You've got no carrot seeds. You've got a cartography table. I guess I could buy it, but really, why? Um, we've got some curdling milk, finally. Don't care about that. You're selling nothing. Healing kits, herbs. I've got 255 herbs. Why would I want your nine... Mechanical components, no. Research table, no. I mean, I could get my rep up with them, but I'm not really that bothered. Does does having better rep change anything? Oh yeah, you can sell me a sturdy hat. Well, thanks for that. That was a nice waste of Sir Oak's time. I mean, we are on the verge of being able to turn the crafting up another notch so that um, we make, like, just superior and flawless. We'll actually start breaking down fine stuff. How are these? These are currently ripe. It goes ripe to flowering and then going to seed. We're waiting all the way through to the going to seed stage and hoping the cabbages can carry me through this winter. That's the plan anyway, right? The limestone and the clay, the dirt and all that sort of jazz is being pulled out of there now. So we're really not that bothered about it. Um, dubious booze. I mean, that should get moved out of there and across. Curdling milk. Decaying because of temperature. Pliable for men in two days. So technically this is fine still. Because it's going to ferment before it decomposes. I guess it's a touch on the warm side for it. 8 degrees, but it'll be fine. Dubious booze is fine at the minute. Is that sheep actually sleeping down here? These are all fermenting still. I'm fine with that. Like I say, it's going to ferment before it turns into um, just rot, which is good. Cool, well, I think that's where we're going to leave today's episode off. Another quiet one, but we're just finishing up some more of the building stuff before we get into some more of the building stuff. Who'd have thunk it? But yeah, that's where we're going to leave it. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. If you'd like to see some more, all comments and feedback greatly appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.